In this video, we're going to be cleaning around 100 gravestones at this older Catholic cemetery's sister's gravesite. So the nuns from the Catholic Church, they've been buried over here, and a lot of the gravestones haven't been upkept over the years. As a lot of you know, I like cleaning gravestones as a hobby and also as an act of kindness to the community. And so that's what we're going to do for this video. We're going to be featuring D2 Biological Solution as the cleaning solution for cleaning these gravestones. So let's get started now with this video featuring cleaning around 100 sister's gravestones. So over the years, I've cleaned and restored around two to 300 gravestones at various cemeteries around the state of Washington. And this is gonna be a larger project. There's 100 gravestones. There's around 50 of these stumpy gravestones that you see here. There's around 30 of the crosses that are in the back. And then there's some flat gravestones that lay flat on the ground. We're gonna clean all of those up over a period of several weeks. There's a lot to cover in this video, so let's start going into the details now on the restoration project for the sister's gravesite. A few years ago, I put out a video that talked about my gravestone cleaning hobby that I do as a volunteer service to local cemeteries in the state of Washington. I provided a link to that particular video in the description box. And yes, I do know that this video is not necessarily an emergency preparedness video like the normal ones on this channel. So let's just call this video Prepping Gravestones for the Next Generation. So as mentioned at the beginning of this video, last year I was asked to clean the sisters' grave markers at Calvary Catholic Cemetery which is located in the city of Tacoma in Washington state. This cemetery was founded in 1905 and takes up 55 acres. The cemetery was specifically founded to cater to Catholics in the area. In the middle of the cemetery is a sister's plot specifically set aside for nuns that serve in the area. In the middle of the plot is a huge statue of the crucifixion, under which is buried the Reverend Father Peter Hyobos, who is the first pastor of St. Leo's Parish and who was instrumental in bringing the sisters to the city of Tacoma. The altar is surrounded by nuns from three different orders, the Sisters of Visitation, the Franciscans, and the Dominicans. Father Hyobos died in 1918 during the Spanish flu epidemic. There are many nuns buried in this sister's plot, but there are 103 older sister grave markers that have been unkept over the decades and in need of proper cleaning. So out of the 103 older sister's grave markers, 51 of them are a block design, 34 of them are crosses, and then there are 18 flats that lay flush with the grass. Most of these sisters passed away in the early 1900s. Some of them even have unmarked dates on their gravestones. In 1933, there was a fire that eradicated a good number of the burial records. So for this cleaning project, as always, I'm going to be using D2 Biological Cleaning Solution. D2 is a biodegradable, easy-to-use liquid that removes stains from mold, algae, mildew, lichens, and air pollutants. It works on marble, granite, limestone, brownstone, masonry, concrete, and more. It's the only approved cleaning solution used at Arlington National Cemetery, so it's frequently used for cleaning monuments, sculptures, and headstones. I only purchased my D2 biological cleaning solution from the company Atlas Preservation. Link in the description box. In the previous video, I described what my cleaning process is. I'm not going to go into too much detail for this particular video because I've already covered it in that other video. But basically, it's D2, a lot of water, natural or synthetic brushes, a few wood or plastic scrapers, and a whole lot of elbow grease. D2 takes around 100 days or so for the solution to completely work its way through the biological growth in the porous material of the headstones. Some people do like the older look of grave markers, but the biological growth will eventually eat away at the porous stone and it will crumble over time. There are so many grave markers that I see at local cemeteries that have been crumbled over the years. So like having a classic old vehicle, if you want it to last for multiple generations, it's not a bad idea to clean it, but do it safely using D2 Biological Cleaning Solution. So as of the time of the making of this particular video, I started the cleaning process a year ago when I was approached by the local cemetery. It took me around 30 days to clean all 103 of the older stones. I started with the 51 blocks and then moved on to the 34 crosses and lastly cleaned the 18 flat stones. Some of them were cleaned in one day and some of them took multiple cleanings over a period of a couple days, depending on how bad the biological growth was. Here's a little montage of the cleaning process of the sisters' gravestones at Calvary Catholic Cemetery.
After the cleaning process was completed, I let the stone sit for multiple months and did a few resprays of D2. Here's what they now look like one year later. It's so cool to see these stones after they've been cleaned. Many of the stones were previously unreadable because the biological growth had overtaken the stones. But after using the D2 biological cleaning solution and a lot of elbow grease, they are all looking much like they did when they were originally placed. It makes me happy to know that they'll be enjoyed for decades, if not centuries to come. I'd like to think that the sisters and even the Reverend Father Peter Hyobos would appreciate them being cleaned after over 100 years. Again, this is one of the hobby projects that I really enjoy doing in my spare time. During the week, I work in a very fast paced and stressful software engineering job. I also have a family, I try to keep a fairly active social life, and I also have an emergency preparedness YouTube channel. But there's something about being at the cemetery by yourself and cleaning an old grave marker of someone that you don't even know. I find it extremely relaxing and it's almost like meditating for me. So I guess cleaning gravestones is my yoga. I'm probably not going to post any more of these type of videos on this channel in the future, but I've created a secondary channel specific for this hobby project of mine that I call Clean This Little Lamb because my gravestone cleaning project started by me cleaning lamb gravestones, which are the grave markers of children who passed away over a century ago and their grave markers are being unkept. I provided a link to that channel in the description box below. Special thanks to Calvary Catholic Cemetery for allowing me to clean the sisters' grave markers. It's so cool seeing the bright white marble of all those stones stand out in the center of this local cemetery. Stay tuned for more videos, and I hope that you enjoyed watching this one. Take care. Music